Hey guys, um, so I'm back with another video. Sorry it's been really about two months now, I think, since I put one up. Um, this is the one that you've been waiting for. Um, so about a little more than a year ago, I made a video about my Ancestry DNA results. And I mentioned in there that I was going to have my mom DNA tested. Um, I've got quite a few of you that have uh, sent me messages and commented uh, about whether I've got hers done. I actually didn't order her test until uh, about two months ago, and well, a little earlier than that. Um, but I just got her tested maybe like a month ago and got the results within a couple, three weeks. So it, it was really fast, considering they say it's going to be six to eight weeks to get it. So um, basically what I'm going to be talking about are my mom's results. Um, I, I did make a couple discoveries. Uh, because of our results, and I might make a separate video about that. Um, so if you haven't seen my original video, uh, total I think it's got 21,000 views now, which is just amazing. I mean, I had no idea it'd get anything like that. So I'm going to put a link um, down below here. Um, there should be a little box right here. Click on that. That'll take you to the original video. Now, it's not going to be the one that has all those views because that's on my old channel. Uh, it's going to be the copy that I have on this new channel. Um, but it's the same video. So it's a little long, but watch it. Um, I go all through um, what happens once you send your test in uh, through to actually analyzing my results. So um, I asked my mom to be a guest uh, on this video. Uh, she won't do it. She hates the internet. So um, can't show you her or have her input. But I'd say it's been about three weeks ago or so now. Um, that I got the results, revealed them to her, and there were definitely some surprises in there. So, um, I'm going to not talk so much about my results today, but I'll go through my mom's results and then just kind of tell you how they differed a little bit. And so that I don't have to make a bunch of different videos and then try to edit them together later on, I just printed out my mom's results, and I'm just going to be showing them to you like this so that we can uh, discuss them together. Oh, and I do apologize for the terrible lighting and all the crap in the back background. Um, this is kind of a temporary studio for me right now, and I'm just going to try to enhance the lighting a little bit once I get this uploaded. So, my mom, Peggy R., these are her DNA results. Um, not a lot surprising. Um, now, one of the things you'll remember from my original video is that I had some African DNA, which I was fascinated by, and I wanted to see where that came from. Uh, my mom, in fact, also has African DNA. That's that top line there. You might not be able to see that, so I'll read it to you. That is less than 1% Africa South Central Hunter and Gatherer. And that is down in this part of Africa right here, like the bottom part. And that is not the same type of African that I have. We'll discuss that a little bit later. Um, I think I know what happened there. Now she's 97% European, which is a little different than me. I was 96%. Um, so she's a little whiter than me. Uh, her biggest part of it was Europe West. Now, my biggest part was uh, Scandinavian. Or, that's not right. Yeah, okay, it is right. My biggest part was Scandinavian. Um, she's got a little bit on there, but not a whole lot. And I was like 35% Scandinavian. So that must all come from my dad's side. Um, so we've got Europe West. She's 40%. Um, that's going to be like Germany, France. And then you've got Ireland, which is next. Her maiden name is Irish, and a couple other families on that side of the family were Irish. So I think my mom always thought she was Irish. According to this test, you know, she's more Western European than Irish, but she's still pretty Irish. Um, now Great Britain is 8%, and that wouldn't be a surprise to us at all. Um... Now, one that was a surprise is this one right here, um, this yellow one. That's Finland slash Northwest Russia. 
I don't have that one on my test at all. And honestly, from the research that I have, I have no idea where that fits into the tree. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, Finland's right beside the Scandinavia part of it, so maybe it came in there. But I've never really thought about Russia being in there. Um, now, she also has a 4% Iberian Peninsula. I have that on mine, too, and I don't know where that came from. It's a small number like hers. Um, and then she has Scandinavia, but hers is only 3%. Like I said, mine's 35% Scandinavian. And then she also has Italy and Greece, 1%, which I th I'm pretty sure Italy showed up on mine as well as a trace region. So, oh, and the very last one here is West Asian, 2%, um, specifically Caucasus. And, of course, the range on that is anywhere between 0 and 5. And it could be, just like the Iberian Peninsula, it could actually just be you know noise in the statistics um, when they're analyzing the DNA, but because she had it and I have it, I don't think that it is. I think it probably is actually in there somewhere. Um, I just don't know exactly where that came from. So, with that said, that's her genetic breakdown. 97% white, less than 1% African, and 2% West Asian. So those are a couple of surprises. She didn't expect to be West Asian or, um, or African at all, and um, she was more Western European than than Irish. So for her, um, those are pretty big surprises. Now, um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things um, that made this discovery, or it really, I guess, helped to get her DNA. Um, and one was uh, my African DNA. So, uh, as you guys know, in my video, um, I kind of explained how I had this one family that I thought might have been passing into white culture, uh, but I was never really sure, and on my test, I was less than 1% Senegal. So, I was surprised when I saw my mom's, and it said less than 1% Africa South Central Hunter Gatherer. Now, what I tried to do is, I didn't know if my less than 1% was a hundredth of a percent or half a percent. So, I thought, well, you know, if my mom shows up 1%, not only will I know what side it's on, but I'll know that it's pretty close. You know, it hasn't been that many generations. But that's not the case with this. Here's what I suspect happened. Um, I suspect that the Senegal that I inherited is actually on my dad's side. So I think both of my parents have a little trace African in them. Um, and I think that the South Central Hunter Gatherer, it my mom has trace of, but I didn't inherit it, possibly because it's such a small amount that I didn't inherit that from her. So, while my mom is African, she's not the part of African that I'm from, so now I've got two mysteries, because I've got African ancestors on both sides of my family, and I have no clue who they were. So, um, that's one mystery. Now, the other cool thing with my mom is, when I'm looking at her DNA results page on Ancestry, uh, it's actually showing um, the new ancestor discoveries, on mine, for some reason, I don't have any. And I don't know why, because we should have the same ancestors, obviously. Um, she has, like, 16. And I think there's a couple of those that are, like, relations to the first wife of a great-great-great-great-grandfather, where we're from the, the second wife. But, uh, but most of those are, like, I've, I haven't gone through all of them, but the ones that I've looked up so far look like they're pretty legit. So, I I mean, if those leads are on there for your results when you get them, definitely go through them. Try to find out who those people are and verify, because it's so much easier to have a name and work your way down to the people that you already know, rather than trying to just figure out who somebody's parents are without having a name or anything. So, um, definitely do that. I was surprised. Um, made some pretty big discoveries. And even when my mom was born in 1949, and she's like 66, 67 now, for some reason, the shared, or the, not the shared ancestors, but the, the DNA, um, 
the ancestor suggestions or whatever they call them, um, they're all from like early, well, l mid to, mid to late seventeen hundreds to early eighteen hundreds, which surprised me because uh, you know I thought it would be closer um, to the current time period, but that's cool because there's a lot about my mom's family I don't know. Um, it just I'm I'm mainly researching in Ohio and West Virginia and. My dad's and my mom's families are have lived in both states, but Ohio is harder to research in just because West Virginia has digitized most of their records and made them free online, whereas Ohio, um, not only are they not digitized, but you have to pay for all of them. So it is more difficult to uh, do research in Ohio when you're not just researching but proving everything through through actual records. So, um, you know, those, those two things really were big surprises to me. For some reason, I have none of those, those ancestor hints, um, on my DNA results at all, so it was definitely worth it to do my mom's, and, um, and I'd also say, um, there's a few other things I'm, I'm kind of holding back saying I'm, that I'm not talking about right now, because I'm going to make a separate video for them, but I did make some other, um, really fascinating DNA discoveries, um, like I said, I'm going to make maybe one or two more videos um, that have to do with my mom's results. Um, and you, you'll see what I mean when those get posted. Hopefully I get those done sometime this week and posted. Um, I will definitely say if... Um, get people tested as soon as possible. Um, as you guys saw, I lost my grandpa in May. And I would have loved to have had his, because my mom's results are putting me with ancestor ma matches back to the mid-1700s, you know, how how much farther back would my grandpa have had DNA? That would have been awesome. Um, and my grandma is, is dead too, um, but she had a sister who was probably willing to, to take the test, um, and she died, I think, a few months ago here now. So that's a generation on my you know, my maternal grandmother's side that I could have gotten back farther too that, that I can't now. So definitely do it as, as soon as you can. Um, I, I'm still, um, and I guess this is sort of the prologue to my, my third video in this installment, but I'm going to be getting my dad tested, hopefully. Um, now this might take more more than a year to get up here because uh, my dad and I aren't, aren't exactly on great terms. Um, so I have to see, you know, if he'll, how willing he would be to do that. Uh, but it'd definitely be interesting to to get the results um, and see what he is. So hopefully um, this was somewhat an entertaining video. Um, honestly, I think that the most entertaining part of it is the part that I'm going to make a separate video about. Um, so uh, if I remember, I'll come back in here and I'll make um, make a link to the <coughs> to the next video. Um, otherwise, just stay tuned to my channel and you'll see it pop up. Um, remember, um, down below in the description is the link to the original video that was my DNA results. Um, this is the second video about my mom's results. And then here, as soon as I can do it, I will have my dad tested and have his results. So um, watch out for this video. This is actually Sunday I'm recording this. I'm going to be posting this on Monday the 16th. Um, and I would say sometime within this week, I should have my other video done um, that really is the most interesting point um, that I have to make. But um, it's kind of going to be a hard video to create because I've got to I got to make some visual aids and I've got to um, make a few videos and splice them all together. So um, for those of you who follow my channel, um, I am kind of in the process of moving. So I don't have proper studio right now. Internet access is kind of spotty. I'm just kind of like chilling out at Wendy's after work <laughs> using the internet. So um, obviously I can't s sit there and make a video and talk to myself. And I guess I guess I could, but I'd, I'd rather not appear crazy. So uh, so anyway, guys, um, if you like the video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, go watch my other video um, of my results and um, keep subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm eventually planning on doing some other 
DNA and ancestry related videos. And if you have any questions for me, um, go ahead and post them below. Um, I've been tried to been pretty active as far as responding to, to comments on my other videos. Um, so uh, let me know if you had any surprises in your DNA results. Let me know um, if you're like me, a white guy who finds out he's not as white as he thought he was. And uh, also, if uh, any of you out there have any topics that you'd like me to discuss, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And uh, if I find them interesting too, I'll make a video about it. So until tomorrow, when I get this up uploaded and get that other video made, I will talk to you guys later.